Look at them all. <laughs> We're on the meat, Vinny. Pretty if she gets already. All right, lube tubers, welcome back. Jamie Bruce here. Exciting day for me. I get to check out a new lake. I'm up here at Nordic Point Lodge in Peralt Falls. It's near Ear Falls, Ontario. Uh, I've been itching to get up here all year. You know, been on the road doing the Bassmaster thing, and, and really haven't had time to to go fishing for myself and. Uh, I've been talking to my buddy Will about how great the fishing's been up here at Nordic Point Lodge. Bunch of trophy fish, bass, walleye, muskie, pike. I drove up this morning, I'm fired up. We're taking the big Lund today and uh, one thing I really like doing is, is checking out a new lake when I, when I can. Everywhere I've been this year on the Bassmaster Tour has been a, a place I've never seen before and um, I feel like the more you do it, the less complacent you become. You don't go to the same spots and same lakes and uh, you know, the, you, the more you do this kind of thing, even for, for multi-species, uh, kind of the better you get as an angler. So hopefully we can throw a few uh, tricks at these things today that maybe they haven't seen before. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes and we'll see you out there. Well, good news. Looks like the Lake Master Ontario has this lake. It's not like one foot contours or nothing, but should help us out quite a bit. You can see where the basins are. You can see where there's some possible structure. Something like that. A big long point next to a basin. Rock pile there. Like I said, the water's clear, so there should be lots of opportunities. I saw the grass was growing out to like 12 feet. I noticed on the way to idle over here. There's a lot of water too. You can go over to Cedar. This is a, I'm not going to get bored fishing this place. Just waiting for my buddy to hop in here. My cameraman actually slept in today. I actually was going to hire a cameraman for once. And I put her on wheels and ran into one of my buddies here at the lodge. So he's going to jump in for a bit. But he's taking a sweet time too. I might just ghost him too. Vin, ready to roll? Nothing. Just a can-do attitude, buddy. Saddle up. How many times you fish this lake? Maybe eight. Eight? You work here. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. I like your rods, all 13ers. Good beauty. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I don't know. I haven't. I went musky fishing last time I was out. Musky guy. And well, we'll try her my way, and if it doesn't work, we'll try her your way. Let's do it your way, yeah. <laughs> I'm open to learning stuff, Just, buddy. You said all the rocks are marked? Yeah, for the most part. Oh, that's encouraging. <laughs> the map looks not bad. That's the side imaging. Massive boulder, bunch of little ones on this isolated vein. That's about as pretty as she gets already. See that? Yeah. Just beauty. We'll probably go near some deep water and see if we can find something that looks like that maybe. There's a little hidden hump. Let's pause that. I got it set up to where I can see my side imaging while I'm running, so we just drove over that. The map just shows wide open. Just drop a waypoint on the peak and Go give her a boo. I'll let you do you. I'm gonna sneak up to that bull beaner. We got two big giants under us already. Haven't even moved yet. Those are either pike or walleye. Oh, good lord, Vinny. Smaller fish, bass maybe. About 70 feet out. Yeah. 
gonna land on that three pack. Can't tell if those are bass or walleye. They're definitely smaller than the big roamers. Here we go. We're on, Ron. <laughs> First Cedar Lake critter. Feels like an eater walleye to me. That's exactly what that feels like. Yep. We want the ones that are off the structure on the big roam, but that's cool. Did you want to keep that one for shore lunch? Look at all those walleyes. Got them. A little bit better of a wall though. Nope, eater, eater avenue. But you told me there's no eaters here. <laughs> Maybe you should fish it more than eight times a year. <laughs> They're aggressive. When you're getting a 13 inch wall, I eat a five inch jerk shad like that. Vinny's on, he's on, he's off. <laughs> I think it just popped off or it ate it off it. That happens. Or I was just had a fish the whole time and I'm an idiot. Oh, nice smally. There are some lurking out here. <laughs> Sweet. Need a little reactor. Ripping blade. Twine trying to do the Al Linder grab. <laughs> I'm soaked now. Thanks, Al. <laughs> All right, that's that Rapala Precision jerk bait. Stopped out on the point, caught some deep small maul. Just kind of mixing it up. Went and got some meat for walleye, but I want to see what this lake has to offer. A day is not enough to check the whole place out, but that's sweet. Nice fat fish. We can find a muck of those. There's a whole pack of them there, so. See ya. Some off the back side of her now. There we go. It's a good thing about this precision jerk bait. Got him. Is it gets down? That's a big one. It gets down deep right away. Like right down to six immediately. No, it's not big. He's just hooked funny. There's a whole pack of them. Oh my goodness. Here, Vinny, drop this down there. Take that, guaranteed. Just give it a little flick up, 10 feet. Oh, the bottom come alive. That's a no money back guarantee, mister. One. That's like a 15 inch or probably a three something. Sweet. Sometimes you gotta throw a little upward twitch. Yeah, that got him. Okay, get ready. They're gonna be, it's a little one, but he should still have buddies. Then I'll fire down this bank a little. Oh, here we go. They're thick. That looks like a little one. She's fertile. There's a nice rock pile. Oh yeah, she keeps climbing too. These northern fatties are mint. All right, she's time to try out the Smeltnator Underspin. This has been my go-to all year, everywhere I've been across North America. And I can't imagine it'll stop working here. <laughs> I 
Fucking hole. <laughs> We're on the main city! <laughs> Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> Spot them all spots. Two, three, four, five, six of them. Oh, <laughs> Get them in there. Little, oh yeah. Another glory boulder. Third dime a dozen. Oh boy. Screaming Willie Beamons, look at them all. Yeah, good. <laughs> Got the end be torqued up. Second cast though, tricky one. If that's a bass, it's a big one, bud. I think it's a, oh yeah, it's a bass. Oh, that clear water's just beauty. She's a corker. <laughs> I'll leave you to your own devices. <laughs> They'll eat the underspin. <laughs> Sweet. Just using a 7.3 medium NV, same rod I use for everything. Got a prototype G-Man reel on there. Got a sweet solid drag. So don't need anything fancy. 10 pound suffix 832, 10 pound suffix fluorocarbon leader. Simple, just add bass. Round. <laughs> Get them. Oh, they're big and stew, bub. Look at them all. Oh, void up. swipe that's incredible <laughs> in a new part of the lake really just checking it out there's one oh. two of them just drop her in there like five feet down that was a giant little cockatude there tell us in crooked what you just saw Vinny <laughs> I can't even explain it <laughs> it's uh, 1230 we left the camp at 945 went back for a quick washroom break and uh, came back out first two spots we hit we stroked them so I think we're gonna switch it. it's 1230 now I got one day to see this whole lake that was pretty incredible um, we just kind of came outside of this big bay and just started, started idling around and there was a couple windblown points that had them and then we found a couple boulder piles and some flats that were filthy with them so yep stacked up on the boulders yeah but yeah it's cool i mean you got to see us play with a few different baits you'll see some live scope stuff and thanks for following along uh if you want to come up here for yourself i would imagine it's probably pretty crazy all year from what i've seen so far this isn't just like your standard youtuber going to a tourist camp deal like i actually wanted to break down this lake figure out what it's made of and make an honest recommendation and i can certainly recommend the bass fishing <laughs> if you want to hone your smallmouth craft and just have a bunch of fun that's about as good as it gets so we're gonna switch it up and thanks everyone for watching like subscribe and check out nordic point lodge in the description below <laughs>